Peterson. And I'm Gerard Pralta. And today we're doing a machine check on okay, my Altezza. Car. Uh, I'm Gerard Peralta. And I'm Kevin Peterson. Today we're doing a machine check on Kevin's Hoopty. It's a turn it has it, but thanks a lot. <laughs> All right, so anyways, let's uh, start with the interior. So you got a new dash mat, cool. Oh, it's blue nice. Yeah, pretty sick. I wanted to hate on it. But it's kind of sick. It's not actually Moon Eyes. Yeah. Moon Eyes makes it for Alteza? Yeah. What the fuck? How? <laughs> well, they make it for the IS, and I'm like, yo, just flip it. And they're like, well, we can't guarantee it's going to work. And I was just like, well, it's going to work, trust me. And they're like, all right, well, we're like, if it doesn't work, you're, like, you're not getting your money back. Actually, Moon Eyes? Yeah. What the fuck? I mean, that's like really cool. So, how do I hang on that? <laughs> I think the zebra goes with pink very nicely though so yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? they also put the arcadia pink steering wheel in and it looks fully sick so i can't make fun of them for that with yeah so well, this is going really well well yeah i'm gonna talk about the car uh these suck these fender washers but like i also fucking put fender on when it's got no material left I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm, doing very good. I don't yeah know. what is going on with you? This was your yeah. idea for a video. <laughs> well, I had the idea maybe when I was in a bit of a mood. I don't know. All right, okay. so let's open the genuine BN Sports head and look at this. I don't know, I can't do this, man. It looks fine. It's like, it looks nice. It has the pink valve cover. <laughs> maybe if I don't like something, I might say it, but like, you could just talk about it. All let's right. just not make it super lame. The most amazing engine on the planet, 3SGE. Two liters of fury. Four cylinders. Whole 140 pound feet of torque or whatever. <laughs> Can you drift one? Yes. Maybe. Do you want to drift one? No. No. So what did you do, Kevin, to make this car into a drift car? Motor blew up and I ripped it out and the car sat for five years and I needed a car for That's final boring. Month. You're telling it way too boring. <laughs> slapped a 1J up in this Day. bitch so I could do some drifting. Back in the day, uh <laughs> sat at our shop literally doing nothing for four or five years and then one day he's like hey i'm just gonna fix the car well i mean we were gonna go to final boat and i was gonna build a different car but then I what had, were you gonna build i don't know that's that was it i just didn't have the car to buy the car and build the car yeah yeah so it's like well i already have this car you just build this car yeah but that was like eight thousand years ago so it still looks exactly the same pretty much yeah same car same car new hood big mods yeah the only reason that has a hood because i crashed take the Alteza into the shop and take a look underneath and show you all the cool serial nine parts. I'm in this video too, right? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you. You so now we've got the Alteza up in the air. Let's take a look underneath. So I have replaced the factory front lower control arms with the serial nine extended 25 mil long control arms. This pushes the wheel 25 millimeters further out of the wheel well. This allows the knuckle and the wheel to steer more before it rubs on the body of the car. I've installed the Serial 9 AK49 steering knuckle onto the OEM Toyota front lower ball joint. This has a triple advantage. Uh, one is it offers 35 millimeters of roll center correction. This puts your tie rod in line with your lower control arm on a lowered vehicle to negate bump steer. It also gives you quicker steering. So off center, the wheel is moving more for how many degrees of input your steering wheel has. And the third advantage, the most advantageous for drifting is it allows you to have more steering angle. So my car has around 60 degrees with the AK-49s and all the other stuff I have right now. So that's super helpful. Oh yeah, so I have the serial nine tension arms, caster arms. What do these people call them? Tension arms, they're called tension arms. Actually, the Toyota calls them front lower control arm rearward, but we will call them the tension rod. So I've replaced my stock tension rod with the serial nine version. It uh, gets rid of the stock rubber bushing, which is super prone to failure on all these cars. 
It gives you additional clearance for the inner wheel when you have 60 degrees of steering angle like I do. And it also looks sick. No, just kidding. Uh, it does look sick though, but it's also lightweight and allows you to adjust the caster at the bottom. Car also features a shortened spindle. This is to allow you to r drive at low ride heights without the spindle um, jamming into the upper strut tower. The Serial 9 front upper control arm, which I have on there as well, has a shorter ball joint stack height than stock, so that also will allow you to run a bit lower before that happens. I have the billet sport arm to go with the extended front lower. And yes, the extended front lower also has our OEM Plus bushings installed. The car is riding on Stance XR1 coilovers on all four corners. It has 24 kilogram springs in the front and 18 kilogram springs in the rear. So here I have a 1JZ VVTi unopened so the magic's still in it that's a callback so for my 1jz i have done just a ton of basic maintenance stuff i've done all the gaskets the water pump all that important stuff i have a ati super damper in place of the uh, stock um crank pulley because it is known to fail the two parts two part rubber one rips apart so that's kind of a maintenance item I have a pretty large oil cooler. That's a maintenance, or not a maintenance, but a reliability item. Most of the mods on this car are reliability adders, in my opinion. <laughs> so I have the Serial 9 rigid engine mounts holding up the motor, and I have a Spectrum Motorsport Serial 9 Turbo. And by the time you're watching this video, it will be on the website, and you can buy this exact spec turbo. Mated to the 1JZ, I have the Serial 9 CD Pro bell housing kit. This allows you to install a CD series transmission out of uh, Nissan 350, 370Z, G35, G37. So you can have a modern six-speed manual transmission equipped to your JZ Toyota. And of course, with that, we have the famous Serial 9 CD999 shifter. Everyone in the world is basically running the shifter. And if you're not, you're doing it wrong. Inside the bell housing, I have a chromoly flywheel with a Tilton triple plate unsprung metallic clutch. Uh, it's probably, well, not probably, it definitely is overkill for the power levels of this car, but I don't care and it's sick and I got a triple plate clutch. So, so if you thought we had a lot of serial nine parts in the front of the car, get ready because we have even more in the back of the car. So oh, in the back here, I have the Serial 9 rigid subframe bushings. They take out all of the slop from the factory subframe bushings. On a 30-year-old Toyota, that is quite a lot. The entire subframe can shift back and forth under load. Holding my OS Geiken diff into the subframe is the Serial 9 rigid diff bushings. Basically the same thing as the subframe bushings. The diff bushings are rubber and have huge voids in them to take out all of the uh, vibrations and harshness from the diff. That also takes away all your direct power transmission, so you want to get rid of that and replace them with the Serial 9 Delrin diff bushings. I have the Serial 9 billet rear lower control arm. This allows you to adjust the camber at the bottom of the hub in the rear. It has two different spots for the hub, so you can quickly change the ride height or allow your car to run lower if you have a coilover that won't allow you to go low enough. There are three different positions in the arm for the strut or the coilover, so you can fine tune your spring rate or make it in a different position depending on how you've adjusted the arm. There's also three spots for the sway bar end link. Same thing if you want to increase or decrease the stiffness of the sway bar, you can do that with the Serial 9 rear lower control arm. So in the hub, I have the Serial 9 OEM Plus bushings for the rear lower control arm. I have the billet traction arm. With that, I've replaced all of the rubber bushings on that arm and this allows me to adjust my wheel front and back in the wheel well. I have a Serial 9 billet toe arm that allows me to get my toe zero no matter how I have the alignment of my car. I also have the Serial 9 DCB dual caliper brackets that hold my Willwood dual caliper. These are actually the first ones ever made, so they are probably six or seven years old at this point. Still in the car. I don't know how many events, how many now, many, many events. I also have the Serial 9 rear upper control arm. This is not the billet one yet, uh, just because I've been too lazy to take it out and replace it. <laughs> I'm excited to do that pretty quickly here though. These two subframe braces that 
go forward to the frame rails and back to the subframe are held on with our serial nine scraper bolts. So these are titanium bolts that throw crazy sparks when they scrape the ground. And yeah, it's pretty sick. In stock form, this isn't a great drift car, but with all of the serial nine parts, it's pretty amazing. But this car had the beams, so from stock, you, it was barely a drift car. But I feel that like with the two, the 2J, the NA2J, you can fully drift it with the stock engine. If you have the W58, you're, you know, you can drift it with that, as Ryan will show you in our next video. Uh, yeah, it's a great drift car. I love it. I've been driving it for the last five years. I haven't really changed too much on it. Uh, other than I think the most recent things are the, the steering knuckle and the LSD. Um, yeah, this could be you. You could have this. And if pink's not your option, don't worry. They never came in pink. So all the sweet green Serial 9 parts you saw in my car are available on our website, Serial9.com, along with this sweet hat, this tank top, shorts, pretty much everything in the whole video. Buy the shop, buy the farm. We love you. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah.